I want to respond to a question that I receive on a fairly regular basis almost daily via direct message here on TikTok. And that is, once I've given my life to Christ, can I lose my salvation? And what do I need to do to really grow in my relationship with Christ? Now, people will tell you that things like going to church on a regular basis, being baptized, prayer, etc. are important, and they are. But the most important thing that we can do as a follower of Jesus is to saturate our mind with His Word. If you think about when a child is born, there's a condition called failure to thrive. That baby does not eat. As a result, it doesn't grow. And unless they're able to do something about the condition, the child will lose its life. I've seen that happen. And not that a Christian will die, but a Christian will not grow if they don't eat the spiritual food that God has given us, His Word, His inspired Word. It is so important as followers of Jesus that we understand that the book that we're given, the Bible that we have, is the inspired Word of the living God. And it has within its pages irrefutable, undeniable evidence that that's true, that it was inspired by God from the only one who knows the end from the beginning. That evidence is in many ways, but especially and specifically that I'm talking about, is in its prophetic value and accuracy. One third of God's word is prophetic in nature, and all prophecies to the detail have already been fulfilled, except for those that are being fulfilled in our generation and that will be fulfilled beyond our generation, such as in the soon coming seven year tribulation, the second coming of Christ, and then the millennial reign that will then end with the great white throne judgment and us going into eternity for all who have chosen to follow Jesus. Now, again, without the Word of God as believers, we simply will not grow. So, in this coming new year, if we're still here, we're three days from it, and I know there are many of us that don't even want to think about 2024, because I think we think of that as being a year having to be here for a whole other year waiting for Jesus. And just because we go from December 31st, 2023 to January 1st, 2024, if that happens, if we're here, if the rapture doesn't happen before that, then that does not mean that we're going to be here for a whole other year. We don't know the day and the hour that the Lord will come, but we do know the prophecies from His Word that He has given us that we can watch for, that we are watching, and that we can see are about to come upon this earth. And many of those prophecies cannot come until the church is removed, such as the global government, one world religion, global currency, and more that this video is not about, but... If we're here, and even if we're not, over the next few days or minutes or hours, until the trumpet sounds, if we've placed our faith in Christ, I want to encourage you to saturate your mind with the Word of God. If you are a new believer, if you have never read God's Word, I want to encourage you to begin with the New Testament. I normally will tell people to start in the book of John, to read through to the end of the book of Revelation, and then go back to Matthew and read through the New Testament again at least a couple, if not three times, before you go to the Old Testament and read through the entire Bible. Now, I don't know that we're going to have enough time for someone to do all that, but every time that you read God's Word, if you read more than a paragraph, because I can I just tell you that a paragraph or even a chapter a day will not keep the devil away. 
and that would be akin to someone eating maybe a piece of bread a day or something. If we want to grow, even as newborn baby believers, we can pick up God's Word and read it as if we have never read anything before. Devour it. Again, saturate your mind with it. The more you read, the more you will grow, and the Lord will grow us as quickly as we will allow Him to, as we will participate with Him in that growth by replacing the lies with the truth of His Word, healing the wounds that are in us so that the enemy can't continue to use them for our destruction and so that God can use them as He promises in His Word for the comfort and salvation of others. He will not waste anything in our lives. We're told in the book of Romans to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, and that process only happens through the saturation of God's Word in our mind. That's the only way that it happens. That is how we are no longer conformed to the image of this world, because until we come to Christ, we are being taught, we are hearing, we are listening, we are being influenced by a world that is anti-God, anti-Christ. And in order for those things to be washed away, those lies to be removed and to be replaced with the truth, we have got to eat God's spiritual food, His Word. In a year's time, if you will commit, if we're here, and I don't believe we're going to be here for another year, but I'm just saying in general, as a believer, In a year's time, a person can be more mature in their walk with the Lord than someone who has been in Christ for years and years that has never read God's Word. I've seen that over the 27 years that I've known the Lord over and over again. Most of the church is not reading God's Word, and that is why we are in the sad state and condition that we are in, that we're believing every lie the world tells us, that we're falling for for every new teaching, every whatever they're saying, because we do not know God's Word. And if you're going to be on social media, you need to know God's Word, because most of what you're going to hear on here is not what God's Word says. You're going to be told that you can earn your salvation, you can lose your salvation, that you've got to keep the law in order to be saved. Grace is no longer grace as soon as we add works to it. It is by grace that we are saved through faith, and that not of ourselves, but a gift of God, and not by works lest any should boast. As believers, we are created for good works to glorify the Lord to impact others for Jesus. But those good works don't save us. If they're not a result of our salvation, if they're not out of our love for Christ, then they are as filthy rags before the Lord, as it is only the blood of Jesus that washes away our sin. It is only the death and resurrection of Christ that purchased our salvation. And if we believe that we can earn our salvation, then we are very very, very deceived, and that deception will cost us eternal life. Please note, when there were those that came before Jesus that he said, I never knew you, they did not say, but Lord, we placed our faith in you for salvation. We believe that your blood washed away our sins. They said, Jesus, we did this, we did this, we did this. We did signs and wonders and miracles. We cast out demons. We healed people. And he said, I never knew you. Saturate your mind with the word of God. That is your greatest protection. And it is what will grow you into the man or woman that God created you to be. Maranatha.